Damn. That's what you want to know, right? Yeah. From 106th to 108th Street, Ecuadorians. From 108th Street to 110th Street, Venezuelans. And from 110th Street North, predominantly you have Dominicans. As far as your drug deal is a drug operation. Do they sell different things? They sell predominantly cocaine and crack. Heroin is not too big on this side of, of Manhattan. If you want to get heroin, you go to the east side. Heroin is popular over here. This is where you get good quality cocaine. Street level cocaine, you get it here. The DEA had worked with us for a period of time in Amsterdam, Miami. They were shocked at the quality and the purity of the cocaine they were getting off the street buys. 80% pure coke. Quality, quality coke. You've heard of 107th Street? I don't know if you've heard of 107th Street. It was a notorious drug block down the other way. Between Manhattan Avenue and Columbus Avenue. We'll pass that and I'll show you. What that's all about. This is where this crane fell down this week. That's the yeah. crane. This is a local numbers place right there. Because of the pressure that the police department put on that one, 107th Street, it was like a hand grenade effect because it blew out all the drug dealers in the surrounding areas. Let's get this below there. This guy's looking to score right here. When you we drive by and you tell us who he is, did you see that, Craig? Hmm? We're gonna drive by this guy and he's gonna explain to us why he doesn't belong. If he's still on the street, he might go inside. He's a nice nice. He's just walking. Still see him? Yeah, he's yeah, still outside, yeah. but... Did you see who it was, Craig? He's like this sort of long, blonde, blonde hair. Blonde yeah, with yeah. He just doesn't look like he belongs in his neighborhood. Yeah, well, we're by and you can tell us why. Well, first of all, he's a male white. And he just does not fit in this, yeah. on this strip. Wait, start now. Right here. This guy, for instance, drive by him and t t tell us what. He just doesn't look like he fits in the neighborhood. He looks like he's wandering the streets. He just said something to this fellow right here. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. The fellow with the cigarette in his hand. Hold on, I'll tell you when. Go ahead, roll. Right? Well, now he's off the garbage. Now he's walking down the street. But you have to speak in full sentences. If I had to pick out two drug dealers, I would pick out these two fellas standing on the corner, the male Hispanic with the little goatee and the gray long sleeve shirt and the dungarees. And I would also pick out this male Hispanic with the baseball cap, the blue t-shirt, and the Bermuda shorts. Why? Because of their actions. And what, what? Because Why? what they're doing. Just hanging around, waiting to make a sale of drugs. And if we sit here long enough, you'll see it. Matter of fact, I think we'll go in that corner and look this way. Okay. And I think we got a better shot at seeing it. Okay. Great. Okay, you got it. I'll just be prepared when everybody starts walking. Uh, there's a street sign right there. Point like that. 107th Street, Manhattan Avenue. Right there, I don't know if you could pick it up. It's right over here also. This was a notorious drug block. It was extremely notorious. The police department made numerous raids on this block. And in making so many raids, they literally 
put these people out of business on the block, and they had turned the block into a play street. And uh, what they were doing was they were deterring the cars that were coming into this block, but it appears that it's getting worse again, as I can see right here, as you see the people hanging out. And uh, if we stopped the car, when we're sure that somebody would approach us, ask us if we want to buy anything. This department came in here in, in droves, made numerous arrests, and what happened was it scattered the drug dealers to other areas in the immediate area. It looks like a seedy type of a neighborhood. And it is. And you notice how they look at you. Mm -hmm. They watch you. They watch those cars. And as we turn the corner here, this is Columbus Avenue. We're going from 107 to 106th Street. You'll see people out here. This is where a lot of the, the drug dealers moved to after the, after the police department moved them out of 107th Street. A lot of these buildings here are drug infested as far as selling drugs. They sell them in the buildings, outside the buildings. Various times you see di different crowns of people. Right now, the people that you see it's relatively quiet, but give it another half an hour and we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. This is another drug infested area, which is the next block. We have our drug dealers. I venture to say if we stop the car and roll the window down, we have somebody approach us. No problem. If you want to try it, we can do it if you like. They're not going to kill you, I guarantee. Okay. Strange, you know, it's just strange how everybody just hangs out. We've given drug training sessions in this area, and uh, we don't know if it's helped. We don't think it's hurt, that's for sure. I mean, at least the people are a little bit more aware of what's going on around them and what they can do about it. Prior to that, they were just frustrated, screaming and yelling that the police weren't doing anything, when in reality, the police are. The police are doing a lot. The people just think they aren't because they don't see a change. Street, they don't see a change. The street scene seems the same all the time. And uh, they're right. Because you look out your window and if you see the same people out there or different people, nothing changed. And look at all these people. Just a little further. Just between these cars. I would suggest that uh, for us mm -hmm. to take, you go outside, not here, and just take a look to see what you can see to the okay. car. Like if you could see him with the camera, you know? You know people are always looking at you like, it's amazing how they look you over. They're not standing there because they want to stand there. Looks like they're trying to make a connection. He got the money in his hand. You see it? The deal didn't happen. And he's got groceries. I don't know what this is all about. The guy had the, he still has the money in his hand. He fell with the red shirt on. No, the guy right here, in front of us. Look at the money. You can see it in his right hand. He talked to that other fellow. 
And uh, he, apparently he scared the guy away because it looked like he was asking him to buy something. He wanted to buy something, and the guy took his bags and left. He's got his hand wrapped up. You see the money in his hand? Here, take a look. Look at that. He's holding it in his fist. You'll get a lot of these people uh, that, that seem like bag people mm -hmm. that uh, use crack. Oh, this is their thrill of life. What's up? What's up, man? Huh? How you feel? Good, how are you? Okay, guy. Everything okay? You all right? So far. Okay, guy. What's for sale? You got anything for sale? Huh? Like, well, I'm, I'm, let me tell you something now. Uh, what? You're straight? No, I'm straight. I'm straight. But if you're, if you're police, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm a dealer. I don't sell no drugs. You don't look like a dealer. I just came home from jail. You, know what I'm you just came home from jail? I just came home from jail. Oh, I okay. I walked cars right there. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? I'm at Bosnia. Well, you got a hell of a job here, I tell you. Okay, all right. He just come home from jail. All right. Very good. I wonder which, which abandoned building he lives in. I don't tell you, you cops, right? Okay, let me get this everywhere. This is good. Yeah, this goes very slow. Nice and slow. Neighborhood attack dog. This is where it starts. Up in this area, anyway, 107th in Columbus. And it doesn't end until around uh, 100th Street in Columbus. You know? Keep going. Keep going. What's going on? Huh? What you got? I got a bottle. How much? $7 for you. For what? $7 for what? <laughs> $7 for me. He didn't even look at my plate. If it was from Jersey, it'd be more. Let's get, let's get the rolling shot now. Well, that's one neighborhood. Yeah, we won't be able to go back there now. You never know. The players change. We get swamped. Did you get scared, Tom? No. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't shoot us. They don't want to shoot the customers. I just think every time you bought a TV in Crazy Eddie, they killed you. You have no customers. Did you get any of them at the window or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, great. Right on the money? Yep. It turned up right as you said seven bucks. Oh, so. really? Oh, great. That's with inflation, I guess. I guess we should go back and tell them. Okay, deal. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Woo! Uh, sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah. They saw the camera. Oh yeah, oh, yeah but they—they oh, yeah. they were looking. They were concentrating on me. Yeah, it took them a little while. If you—if you, you rolling shot. Here we are, we're in a couple blocks south of 107th Street. It's that corner. Well, it's got women though. Doesn't matter. Drug dealers come in all sizes, shapes, and forms. Believe me, I have personally arrested grandmothers and granddaughters on the same transaction as sellers. So the grandmother was holding the drugs and the granddaughter was selling them. Do they take them? Huh? Do they take them? Take who? Take the drugs. Who arrested them? Oh, did they use the drugs? That I don't know. Okay. That I did not know. Now here's what I want you to do. Okay. You can cut it, thank you. I wish these people wouldn't double pump. I'm going to try to see the next thing. What does this look like, Ken? Yeah. When people are looking down, they're looking at something. You see, like they're looking down right here? See them? See the exchanges going on? See the money right here? See the exchange? Do you see Which it? Ones? Right here, right here, right here. Do you see it? 
The exchange happened in front of us. The drugs were transferred, and the dr and the money was transferred. I saw it. This guy was the buyer. He wasn't the seller. The guy over there was the seller. <laughs> he put the drugs in his pocket just now. Give us the roll. You may be able to use that, Tori, because they still got their hands down. Oh, really? Okay. Notice how everybody left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flying he was right there. What did he buy? Did he I don't know. I couldn't see it. It looked like crack. I couldn't purse. I couldn't actually see it. Transaction. There he is. Hello. Could have been heroin, boy. This guy's acting. Yeah. He could have been a heroin user, that guy. From his physical description, yeah. very thin, frail. Yeah. Once they get involved in a drug deal, it's traditional that everybody looks down. Whoever is in the crowd. Why? So they can watch the drugs and the money. It's exactly what they're looking at. Every everybody gets nervous. Knock it off. Many times. Looking at negotiations. Huh? That's what we're doing. No, going down the street, he's counting his money. This young lady is going to wait patiently as the other young lady transfers the drugs and the money. He walks over. Still talking here. Come on, the tree again. You can't see because of the tree? Stop. Stop it. Waiting for something. Everybody just walks in circles. So these guys are See, what you see also, I don't know if you've noticed, but you get a lot of the same people who are, who are sellers going to, for argument's sake, Noriega and the other girls, and you see money exchange and drug right, exchange. Right here, right here going down. Because what they're doing, when they're doing that, they're going out making their own deals. So they're buying it wholesale and selling it retail. You're looking at the guy in the hat behind going from the girl. Just the Here comes the exchange, she hands him the drugs. Boom. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. You now those are three females looking at that. You can't see her smoking a cigarette. But to me, it looks like she's got a light in her mouth. I see it. Now she's a new one now. She's a new player that just came on the scene. Here she is. Now what may have happened, I don't know. We'll see. She may be the relief. She may be the girl that's taking the other girl's place. Oh, yeah. That is four girls. Oh, 
all Hispanics, every one of them. Those are all new faces. to say every one of those girls has slept alone. Yeah, I was pushing the cans, the shopping cart. Yeah. He's buying crack now. Can you believe that? Here's a guy, he's collecting cans. A nickel a piece to go out and buy crack. Can you believe this? Did you see that? Yeah. A nickel a can. He's got a shopping cart full of cans, he's buying drugs. Holy Christ. That is beautiful. If you got that, that was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, what's priority in life? Crack. Okay, but... Look at these kids coming off the plane floor. These kids walk around and face these people. That was one of the... That has to be classic. I mean, that has to be yeah. classic, that one. Guy collecting cans. Guy collecting cans. Would you want to stop crack? Sorry, I can't believe it. So you got more crack bars in here right now. She so just handed him off. Handed him off to Noriega. She's giving him the cash. No, no, she handed him the, uh, the vials. And that's just counting the money. Why are all these, all these girls fat like that? Roll well. Can they roll the body she has, eh? This deal looks like to me. There he is, he hands it off. See him hands it off? Secretive. Whatever happened there, he gave one money now. 
she gave him something. Territory wars, huh. and these guys have been here for years. Unfortunately, they've been here for years, but it's the same people over and over and over. And you notice, like I said, you you always blaming the Puerto Ricans. Do they look like Puerto Ricans? Mm -hmm. Is there negotiations? Just talking. For sure. It's like sign language. Though. Bing, bang, boom, right? Yeah. If, if I wasn't looking See this woman here? She's no kid, this one. You know. He's beating it out of town, no kid. She came over and said something to him, and he took off. You get that, boss? That's a good one. Okay, cut. Look at this, he's calling the kitty cab driver? Yeah, that's all right. Oh, sorry. Someone's getting out of the cab. It's one of our drug dealers right next to the cab. Drug dealers in this neighborhood? Who's that? What is this here? This guy's getting out of the cab. Hmm. Well, what is that? It'd be nice if that was the bag of drugs, but it looks like it's laundry. Two nice little kids. Look at him looking at the bios of a boy. He's got his hand open for you. He put it in his mouth. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you see him throw it in his mouth? Yes. There's the money. Got the money. That's what he's storing in his mouth. How was his hiding place? Who wants a pretzel run? Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, I tell you, I could always count on you. Great. Oh, wonderful. Thanks. Is there anything in the world better than a pretzel? I could think of one thing. Not much. <laughs> he just took it out of his mouth and handed it to the guy with a hat. Now the guy's walking away. That's common now. They use that as their hiding place. Have you, um. Have we got, we got many? We've gotten a lot. We'll have plenty. I was. Oh, I was really worried that I would have to come back. Listen, that, that's a tight shot. You see him go. 
Right. Right. You know, it would be kind of interesting. Um, I'm just just stop. Cut. Okay. Anything we could do illegal, we'll do it. Look at this guy. I love New York. Yeah. What a what a shirt that is! Oh my God. That red, white, and blue sweatshirt. Here it goes. Yeah. Who, has Noriega been in action? Look at the money these guys. Every one of them has a nice roll of money on them. Okay, Tom. They're not going to.